Well, right now a neighborhood is fighting to put a stop to a planned power plant that some say could cost customers more than a billion dollars. Our 10 News crew snapped these pictures of people outside the packed meeting protesting with their signs. The proposed site for the Pio Pico power plant is next door to the existing power plant in Otay Mesa, which is close to Donovan State Prison. We have a crew inside. We will bring you a live report on the controversy tonight at 11. Will there be a new power plant? in San Diego, the EPA deciding what effect it would have on air quality in the area. Tonight, agent, the agency held a public hearing on the proposed plan. San Diego 6's Nancy Aziz in Otay Mesa, where folks packed a meeting to voice their concerns. Nancy. Well, the folks who showed up here tonight all opposed the project. They say if the region needs more energy, it should come from green sources, and they worried the plant could cause their children to develop asthma or other lung problems. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Pio Pico's got to go. Hey. It's the power plant many who live in Otay Mesa hope will never see the light of day. It makes me very upset and very sad that they only think about their pockets and what much uh, revenue they're going to get, but they don't think about the life they are affecting. About 50 people came to voice their concerns about the proposed Pio Pico power plant to the Environmental Protection Agency. Many worry the plant will bring even worse air quality to an area already polluted by heavy truck traffic and an existing power plant. This part of uh, San Diego County has uh, some of the worst air quality in the country and already does not meet state air quality standards. So um, for them to put a new power plant here that's going to be producing more ozone, more particulate matter, that's just going to make the air quality worse. Opponents also say the plant will cost ratepayers $1.6 billion over the next 25 years. And it's not needed, even without the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station. SDG&E won't own the plant, but will buy power from it and says it's necessary. This is the second time the EPA is considering the permit. It had been previously approved, but after receiving appeals, the agency is reconsidering its standards for a certain type of pollution that can contribute to serious lung problems. We will be reviewing the public comments, and then we will uh, make a determination whether or not to issue the final permit. And no decision was made tonight by the EPA, and there's no time frame for when it will be. The plant would also need approval by the California Public Utilities Commission if it does get the green light from both agencies. Environmental groups say they may sue. We are live tonight in Otay Mesa. Nancy Aziz, San Diego 6 News. There was a rally tonight in San Ysidro, and many people came out to protest a proposed power plant that would sell energy to SDG&E. KUSI's Kristen Casado joins us live in the newsroom with that story right now. Kristen? Alan, today was the last day of the EPA's 30-day comment period on the permitting of the Pio Pico power plant. The people came out and their message was clear. A new power plant will mean bad news for those on both sides of the border. How do we spell corporate greed? The proposed Pio Pico power plant under protest as environmental activists let their concerns be heard before an EPA permit hearing at San Ysidro Middle School. Luz Palomino lives just a few miles from where the energy center will fire up. She is worried about her loved ones with asthma and what the so-called dirty air will do to them. He wake up on the middle of the night with problems. He can breathe and same my grandson. So I need to stop this. It's kind of difficult because I, when today I'd have a winter performance and I was coughing, so I thought it was gonna be hard for me. The plant got the thumbs down in March by the California Public Utilities Commission, but in June it came back into the spotlight after the San Onofre nuclear plant closed down. SDG&E would buy power from Pio Pico if it is approved. And they told KOSI today, quote, this new facility will contribute to local capacity requirements and will be instrumental in maintaining a reliable electrical system, end quote. Protesters disagree. That locks us into a dirty energy future when we could be switching over to something um, like solar power. We don't need this power in San Diego or in Southern California. More than 20 people spoke at the hearing and the EPA listened. I believe we must move away 
from fossil fuels. People in this area are going to suffer more air pollution than they otherwise would have. Now it's up to the EPA to issue a permit or not. We want to make sure that we give them all equal weight and then we will respond to them. Uh, the more complex the comments, the, long, the longer it may take us to respond. And that permit manager told me they hope to make a decision by spring of 2014. The plant's developers and SDG&E hope to have Pio Pico up and running by the fall of 2015. Of course, we'll stay on this story for you. In the newsroom, Kristen Casado, KSI News. Tonight, dozens of protesters are rallying against a proposed power plant in the South Bay. They're calling on the Environmental Protection Agency to deny a permit for a $1.6 billion power plant in Otay Mesa. CBS News 8's Matt Johnson is live in San Ysidro with why they say the cost is just too high. Matt? Carlo, right now we're about six miles from where the SDG&E wants the P.O. Pico natural gas plant to open. But before that can happen, the EPA has to issue a pollution permit. Now behind me at the San Ysidro Middle School is where the EPA heard about an hour and a half worth of emotional pleas from people who say the environmental costs are what's most alarming. Pico's got to go. An unwelcoming crowd showed signs of frustration over a proposed SDG&E natural gas plant in Otay Mesa. We want to move forward, you know, green energy, clean energy future. This would move us backwards. Organizers rallied before an EPA meeting to get public comment about the $1.6 billion Pio Pico Energy Center to be built next to an existing power plant. Now they want to build that? No, I don't think so. Luz Palomino lives a mile and a half from Pio Pico proposed site, which you see in red, right next to the existing Otay Mesa power plant, she says is affecting her grandchildren's health. The air is going to be so dirty for my grandkids and for myself. When the San Onofre power plant was decommissioned in June, SDG&E brought back plans to build Pio Pico in the South Bay. In a statement, the company says, quote, because solar and wind power are intermittent and not always available, there is a need to back up these energy gaps with reliable, quick starting power sources. EPA officials were on hand at the meeting in San Ysidro to take comments before they consider issuing a permit P.O. Pico needs to open. Not only am I having breathing problems, but I believe that this would really ruin people's health. It's not fair for us to really suffer. As for Luz Palomino, she says her fight against the proposal doesn't end here. I feel strong, and this is the way we can stop dirty things here in our communities. Now, the EPA made no decisions tonight, but they're going to respond to everybody who spoke today in writing. There's no timetable on when they'll make their decision on that pollution permit, although it's expected to take at least several months. Carlo. Matt Johnson reporting live. Thanks, Matt. SDG&E says the P.O. Pico power plant is scheduled to come online in 2015. ¿Qué tal? Muy buenas noches. Gracias por estar con nosotros indignados. Un grupo de personas pretenden hacer lo posible por parar la construcción de una planta eléctrica llamada Pío Pico. Dicen que este emitiría más de 685 mil toneladas de dióxido de carbono. Consternados, un grupo de ambientalistas protestó en San Isidro contra la posible construcción de una nueva planta energética. Más que eso va a causar emisiones que siguen con los problemas del cambio climático que, que, está, que afecta a todos. Es un proyecto que generaría energía para la empresa SDG&E. Estaría situada en Otaimesa, muy cerca de la cárcel estatal de Donovan. Pero sus opositores afirman que es innecesaria, que contaminaría el medio ambiente y pondría en riesgo la salud de quienes viven en el área. Tal es el caso de la señora Luz Palomino, que busca proteger a sus nietos. Uno de ellos ya sufre de asma. Mi preocupación es porque yo vivo a una milla y media de donde se planea abrir esa planta. Y obviamente lo que me preocupa es lo que van a contaminar el aire y lo, los efectos a la salud, especialmente de mis nietos. El grupo de manifestantes acudió la noche de este martes a un foro público ante representantes de EPA, la Agencia de Protección del Medio Ambiente, para hacerles ver su rechazo al proyecto y pedirles que no aprueben el plan de construcción, ya que ellos depende el futuro del proyecto. Este joven viajó incluso desde Tijuana consternado también, ya que la planta quedaría tan solo una milla de diversas zonas residenciales al otro lado de la frontera. Según los reportes que tenemos por la dirección del viento y su cercanía con la frontera, las comunidades que se van a ver principalmente afectadas 
por la contaminación que eventualmente emitiría esta planta, son las mismas comunidades en Tijuana que están siendo afectadas por el proyecto de canalización del arroyo a la mar. Entonces, son gentes de bajos recursos que viven cerca de la zona industrial más grande de Tijuana. Pero EPA no emitirá una decisión sobre el proyecto hasta dentro de unas semanas. Un vocero de SDG en vía telefónica dijo que efectivamente sus planes de comprar energía, si es que se construye la planta, no han sido aprobados y que ellos solamente están tratando de abastecer mejor la región debido al cierre de la planta nuclear en San Onofre. Bueno, los ambientalistas proponen la construcción de plantas de energía sustentable.